okay guys we learned that how we can assign the permissions directly to a user so now the next step is how we can assign the permission to a role and then we will assign that role to a specific user right okay uh, so we have implemented this that we are getting the permission and assigning that permission to a specific user but in this case this would be not the solution we are going to get the permission as we are getting this permission here and then we are going to find a specific role right and then i'm going to assign the permission to that role okay uh, so let's uh, implement that here okay i have uh, let me add them into the newer command here here assign permission to a role right and i'm going to copy this out and paste this out okay so now i'm getting this permission show article and then i'm going to get the role of what role of writer okay so i'm going to find the writer role here find by name it's similar method i'm going to find the writer okay and then let's dd that role save this one and this permission okay it's a singular not the plural that time i just comment this out okay now let's uh, open that specific route here assign permission to a user i'm going to follow this same route okay it says this role name writer named writer for god there is no role okay because i have uh, double added the double t here now let's get refresh and yes i got the role of writer which id is one right and now i want to assign that show article permission to this uh, role how i can do this so syntax is very simple just say role and then you can say assign permission to or you can also follow this from the documentation that how to do this so let's visit this party uh, here and it's only assign role not the assign yeah it's only assign you can assign the role something like this but it's assigning this role to a user but at that time we are assigning the permission right to a role so give permission to it's similar like we are adding this for the user give permission to and then what kind of permission i want to assign the show article permission and after that i want to return that to assigned now let's uh, uh, before this i want to show you here rule has permission right there is uh, nothing is here when i am going to refresh this web page so it will add a role here and the permission just get refresh and yes you can see this it's returning assigned and if i go here and get refresh and you can see this we got the three permission which is corresponding to the show articles and the one which is representing the writer role so we as are able to assign that to permission to a role so similarly you can assign multiple permission at once to this role for this purposes you can use sync role i think let me double confirm it sync role okay just go to the basic usage here and you can use sync permission right and you can use uh, assign the multiple permission to that user right so here i'm going to call this so uh, sync okay sync permissions this method okay and remove this permission too so here i want to basically ah, let me comment this all of the stuff for you so you can get this later on so i'm going to copy this and comment this for you okay so here i'm finding the one uh, one permission but now i want to get the multiple permission here i'm going to search the where in 
and uh, we are in let me check the multiple permission so on the permission table here so we have a uh, show article permission and the uh, write article uh, and edit article right so is and this permission is already assigned right so i can do here where uh, permission uh, where name name not equal show permission because it's already assigned show permissions okay and then get all of the values here i'm going to say that permissions i'm going to make this plural because we have now multiple permissions so just go here let's get refresh and you can see this we got the three permission okay edit article why we are getting the three because we are getting we are expecting only two show article it's still showing show articles let me copy that what i have added here oh i added this show permission it's show article let's give it a save refresh and you can see this now i'm getting that two permission which is first one is write article and other one is edit article so now i want to assign those permission to this specific role so we already set this role and now i'm going to call this here sync permission method sync and then here i'm going to call the permissions and what kind of permissions i want to pass this permissions array okay and just give it a save and go here and let's get refresh and you can see this it's returning that assigned and if i go here so it will add two entries here refresh and yes and uh, you have noticed one thing that it's removed the existing permission so if you worked on the pivot table and use this sync method so basically sync is doing that it's uh, removing the existing values and adding the only newer values so this is the sync functionality so if we want to sync the three permissions we can directly sync them out here i'm going to call this all that will get all of the permissions and then i'm uh, assigning all of the permission to that specific role so now let's get refresh and yes it's done and it will add the three values refresh and you can see this one two three so it's assigned three permission to role one which is writer so in this way you can assign multiple permissions to that specific role right and now let's so uh, let's say you want to assign that role to a user and then check the permissions right so how you can do that so just comment this out and then go here at that time i don't need this uh, permissions anymore i'm finding that role right and now i want to assign that role to a specific user right so let me check the video size oh my god it's going bigger so i'm going to do this in the next one assigned uh, role to user right we assigned the permission to a role and now i'm going to assign that to a user so just remove this out and i'll continue this from the next video bye bye